All right, so today we're going to be working on one of the next building blocks in pre-algebra to algebra one. If you're in pre-algebra, you're going to be learning this. If you're going to algebra one, you're going to want this to be strong. You're going to want this to be second nature. And this is the order of operations. One thing that people usually learn when learning this is an acronym to help us with the order. Um, that's again, a little trick that you can use. You write it on your test, use it as a memory aid. But there's one thing in particular that uh, usually gets lost when people address this, this acronym that's very important. There's actually a lot of internet memes <laughs> related to solving problems with the order of operations. And they're trying to stump people on this very thing. And the very thing is knowing which order to do your multiplication and division and which order to do your addition and your subtraction. So if we go through the acronym, you've probably heard it before. It's called PIMDAS. Some people refer to it as please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So what this says to us is that for P, we do the parentheses first. So for anywhere we see parentheses in a problem, we do the parentheses first. If we see exponents, we do that next. If we see multiplication, we do that next. We see division, we do that next. And we do addition, then we see, we see addition, we do that next. And when you see multi or subtraction, we do that next. But here's the deal with multiplication, division, and addition and subtraction. The thing is, we don't just do it in, in, in uh, sequence like we do your parentheses and your exponents. What happens with multiplication and division, you do this, you do multiplication or division from left to right, okay? So multiplication or division happens from left to right. Addition and subtraction, they happen from left to right as well. So it's basically whichever one comes first in succession of the problem. So you don't just multiply when you see multiplication after you do your exponents. You just don't divide after you do multiplication. You do either or from left to right. You do either or subtraction, addition or subtraction from left to right. So I would even like to bracket this to make that very clear that for these two operations, those two operations only happen from left to right in succession with the problem. So I have some problems here we're gonna work through out of this book here. This is a uh, algebra, essential pre-algebra practice by Chris McCollin, PhD. He has great resources for mathematics. I don't know what you're using, but you could always use another workbook. These are great workbooks. He has them from pre-algebra all the way up to trig, calculus. He even has some physics ones that are pretty good. And so just plenty of work, plenty of work to do, plenty of refreshers too. So this is what I like about this. If you're, if you're wanting to just do some drills, uh, you're wanting your child to do some drills, this is a good book for it. So we're going to use two problems out of this book to illustrate what I was just talking about here. So let's do number 12. Again, if you have the book or if you're interested in the book, these are examples coming from page 36. It's uh, 2, 8 is a chapter. 36, 2, 8, and the problem we're gonna do number 12 and then we're gonna do number eight. So number 12, I suppose I'll just do this right here. So number 12 is a problem where we have three, three sets in parentheses, and then we have multiplication and division. This is why I wanted to refer to this one. So the first thing we do is parentheses, right? So let's do our parentheses. So two plus three is five. That's times nine minus five. Nine minus five is gonna give us four. Then it's divided by eight minus six. Eight minus six is gonna give us two. But again, now we have to figure out which one do we do first, multiplication or division. Again, we multiply or divide from left to right. So multiplication actually comes first in the series if we go from left to right. So that's gonna give us five times four, which is 20, divided by two. 
And now we're just left with division. 20 divided by 2 is going to give us 10. And that's our answer. Okay. For number 8, I'm going to write it over here. Number 8, we have 3 minus 8 times 4 plus 4 squared. Okay. Again, if we look at our series, what do we do? We do uh, parentheses first. So 3 minus 8. Remember, when we're subtracting by a number that's smaller, it's going to give, leave us a negative. So that's going to give us negative 5. Negative time, 5 times 4 plus 4 to the second. Now we do our exponents. We happen to have an exponent in this problem. We didn't have one in the last one, but we do now. So we're going to do 5, negative 5 times 4 plus what's 4 to the fourth. So a square root is going to be multiplied by that number itself. So that's 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is going to give us 16. So now again, we're kind of in the same situation. We got to figure out multiplication and division, uh, addition and subtraction. Again, we multiply from left to right. So multiplication comes first. So we do negative 20. So negative 5 times 4 is negative 20 plus 16. Now we're doing, now we're finding some things that we found yesterday, which is uh, important, right? Again, this is why we do this, have these building blocks, because we're going to incur some of these steps um, cumulatively, right? So math accumulates on itself. Every step that you take, every uh, skill that you learn, you're going to see it later on. So this is adding uh, by a negative number. So what do we do when we add by a negative number? We actually subtract and we keep the sign of the larger number. Larger number in this case is going to be uh, 20 here. So we're going to keep the negative sign and say, what does negative 20 plus 16 equal or 20 minus 16 is going to give us four and we keep the negative, right? So that's going to give us negative four. Now that's how we solve that. Pretty simple problems, but what do you want to keep in mind uh, when you're working on any kind of order of operations, when you're starting to do equations or problem, longer problems with parentheses and, and exponents and multiplication, division. It's order from left to right. From left to right with addition and subtraction and multiplication, multiplication and division. Thanks for watching. This is at the Symposium.